641 this morning from in utero heart surgery to the ABCs of CBD and medical marijuana. The doctors is back on the CW this week. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, you owe me a Coke. You said he'd be in scrubs. <laughs> One of the hosts, Dr. Travis Stork, joins us live with a look we can expect in season 11. Uh, thank you, Dr. Travis, for the Coca Cola I get this afternoon. Oh, gone it. Sometimes you are, sometimes you're not. I don't know. I took a shot. I took a shot. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Nice to have you here. Well, let's start How off talking all? about that. Good, good. That uh, this in utero uh, surgery. So basically, a woman is pregnant, the baby uh, has some heart issues and needs surgery before it's born. How did this come about? It's remarkable. Thinking back, we've been on the air 11 years. This would not have been possible when we started the doctors, to put wow. it in perspective. But this baby, Lorenzo, at 20 weeks in utero, diagnosed with a heart condition where the valves weren't working properly, one was blocked. At 24 weeks, they inserted a tiny needle through mom's abdomen into the uterus, into the unborn baby, up through the heart to open up this blocked valve. 20% chance of success. Baby Lorenzo on the show three week or three months after birth doing fabulous. And so this is one of those things, again, uh, 10 years ago, it's very likely baby Lorenzo would have never made it to term. It's just a remarkable story. Technology, doctors, family, it's everything that makes medicine great. That is amazing. Amazing. Uh, especially what, what floors me there is that you said 11 years ago, just 11 years ago, this wouldn't even have been possible well well this is an amazing procedure in humans yeah. who are already born and adults right, you know when right. you're t starting to talk about a, a a baby who is yet to be born and, and you have to understand the space that they're working in here is so small and yet they're able to go and identify exactly where this needs to occur uh, the skilled hands of the surgeons who are on the show and a shout out to all pediatric um, and neonatal cardiologists out there who do amazing work. And Lorenzo's story, I think, is so impactful because a lot of times parents find out their, their babies or unborn babies have a heart condition. There's not a lot you can do. In the past, there wasn't a lot that could be done. Things are changing and changing quickly. And look, there's a lot that is wrong with our health care system. This is not one of them. Yeah, they, they just like the future is so bright, man. Uh, we're, we got National Childhood Obesity Month here in September. Please help us get our kids up and about. What do you guys got going on? Well, this is, this is a September month where you really have to, to put in perspective these numbers. When you start talking about childhood obesity, one in five kids are obese. The obesity rate has tripled over the last number of decades. And so... What we try to do on the doctors is we're getting back to basics. You know, this season of the doctors, there's a lot of ask the doctors. There's a lot of, is this hack or whack? Is this buzz or bust? And with kids and childhood obesity, a couple quick tips. Number one, if you can minimize the processed foods that your kids eat and you can up their fiber intake, you're going to go a long ways towards preventing childhood obesity. And sometimes it's the simplest measures. It's, it's literally saying, okay, kids, you can eat whatever you want here, but it has to be a real food. You choose, but it has to be real food. Food. Good idea. Whole foods Good always idea. so important. All right, it's, uh, it's coming up one o'clock this week only on CW. Back for an 11th season, Dr. Travis Stork. Thanks for being on Good Day. I'm, I'm tuning in, Doctor. <laughs> I'm tuning in. You, you hooked Thank me. Thank you very much, and Good have stuff. a great day. You too. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, big week, big week here. All right, 6:45. Cha-ching! Coming up, renovations to 